welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday and happy first official video back from my hiatus. It feels so good to be here. If you watched my video last Thursday, then you'll know I sort of foreshadowed some new things, a new direction that this channel will be taking, that my whole platform will be taking. So I am incredibly excited that it is all starting today. As you could probably tell from the title of this video, I'm actually going to be starting a new series on this channel called Habits for the Productive Writer. Now, if you've followed me for some time, then you'll know that I used to post bi-monthly goals videos. I'd post them every two months. I'd go over my goals, how I did, and then I would also share my new goals over the following two months. And while I enjoyed making those videos, I found that there was a key piece missing. And it was a question I'd been asked a lot, specifically on time management, prioritization, and also how I tend to get so much done in such a short period of time. And I realized that part of having goals and achieving your goals, a big, big part of it, like the main part of it, is implementing productive habits and sticking to them. So I'm actually starting this productive habits series specifically aimed at writers where I'm going to share over basically the rest of the year through December 2018, the different habits that I have implemented or implemented in the past and talk a little bit more about those, show some B-roll in these videos so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then we'll dive deeper into each of those habits and talk more about how they actually attribute to your success in reaching your goals. So really, I felt like my bi-monthly goals videos were only giving a very small piece of the picture of the puzzle as to how to actually formulate a goal and then all that middle stuff seemed to be left out because I would formulate the goal and then I'd go about my months working on the goals and then I would come back and report how I did on my goals. But I want to talk about all that stuff in the middle because that's that's the important stuff and I've realized after going through emails and listening to people's questions during my book tour and kind of recording them and taking note, I found just a similar pattern in the types of questions that people had asked me. And so I really wanted to take a deeper dive into these productive habits, how to implement them, and how they attribute to your success, to your goals overall. So I really hope that you guys are just as excited for this video series as I am. And I'm excited to start off with the very first habit, which is such perfect timing because Camp Nano, Camp NaNoWriMo, just ended. For those who don't know, Camp NaNoWriMo, I guess, is an extension of NaNoWriMo probably should have done my research on that before I started talking about it. But NaNoWriMo takes place in November. It's National Novel Writing Month. A bunch of writers from all over the globe get together, they come onto this platform, and everyone strives for a 50,000 word count target or whatever target they set for themselves. But the whole NaNoWriMo, the usual goal is 50,000 words in 30 days. I believe Camp NaNoWriMo came after that, and I know there's one in April and then one in July, and so I just now participated in the one in July where you can actually take your manuscript or those words that you wrote in November and then in April and July edit it or add more to it or do whatever you need to do with it to actually turn it into a full book or the first draft of a full book. As quick backstory, I normally write my books over the months of July and November. I don't know why I chose July. I think it's just because it's in the middle of the summer. It's kind of smack dab in the middle of the year and I tend to have a lot of business related and programs launching and things like that happening at the beginning of the year and so the summer is when I tend to take a little bit of a break as I just did and really work on my manuscripts and my novels. This particular habits for the productive writer this whole series is coming at a perfect time because I just finished writing 50,000 words for Camp Nano this past month in July. And that first habit that was so instrumental in me reaching my 50k word count target was writing at the same time every single day. So I'm going to play some footage, some b-roll if you will, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about and see the sort of progression of me writing every single day. Okay, so it is day seven of Camp NaNoWriMo. <sighs> Cat is meowing in the background. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. It was kind of like slow going. I did really good the first two days and then kind of tapered off a little bit like the next three days, but then totally used the weekend to 
catch up. So I feel much better. I've written over 10,500 words. So I'm not fully caught up with where I need to be for writing 50,000 words, which is my target for July, but I'm really only a thousand words off. So I know I can kind of split that up over the next couple of days or just have like a really productive couple of writing sessions and make that up. So I'm not too far behind, things are going well, but having this habit of writing at the same time every day has been so instrumental in me actually getting these words down and writing consecutively every single day. I've been writing at 7.30 every single night, normally until around nine or 9.30, sometimes a little bit later into the evening, like 10 or 10.30 if I'm really feeling like I'm on a roll. So far so good. I will kind of continue to do a little update like this over the next couple of weeks into NaNo. I'm actually going to strive to finish on July 28th. So instead of having 31 days, I actually only have 28 days. And that's just because I really need to get really need to get things together and all prepped and prepared in August for when I return to YouTube, which obviously when you guys are seeing this video, I will have returned from my summer hiatus. Oh, coffee's so good. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, July 15th. We are two weeks into Camp Nano, and I am really proud of myself because I am completely caught up and I'm even a little bit ahead. Sorry, there's like a plane flying overhead, but I worked really, really hard to catch up and to really kind of push ahead because I am wanting to finish a few days earlier in July. Apparently this is like the worst time to be filming outside because there's just noises everywhere. I'm actually going to take today off from writing. I'm going to a concert. I'm going to see Soul Asylum, Collective Soul, and Three Doors Down in concert. So like my middle school self is really fangirling and freaking out right now. So excited for that. I knew today I just wanted to relax a little bit. The first two weeks of NaNo are always pretty interesting. So I like to give myself some time off, you know, really work hard that second week and then give myself some time off. I don't know how loud the mower and stuff is so I'm probably gonna go ahead and sign off for this week's little update but I'm getting really close to 25,000 words which means I will be 50% complete with Nano very very soon probably by tomorrow actually so wish me luck it is the end of week three for Camp Nano and I am really far ahead pretty far ahead I'll go ahead and insert the little screenshot right here so you guys can see what the bar graph looks like but I'm feeling pretty good. It feels nice to be ahead, and I'm just really hoping I can keep up this streak, this writing streak. I just really felt like I've had my mojo, got my flow back, it feels really good. So all in all, a fantastic third week. It is week four, the end of week four for Camp Nano, which means it is officially over. And I won, I won Camp Nano. I am so proud of myself for really sticking to my habit of writing at the same time every single night. I found that it really helped to break up my writing session. So I tried to do some of it in the mornings, especially if I fell behind a little bit. I tried to write some in the mornings or during my lunch break. And then I would write in the evenings around 7, 7.30 p.m. and just write until I hit my word count target. I can't remember the exact number of words I wrote, but it was over 50,000, it's 50,100 and something. So I'll leave the little graphic right here so you guys can see that. But yeah, I officially won Camp Nano and I'm really excited to announce that I will actually be launching a self-study course in September that has a lot to do with this first video back. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that little bell icon because that will send you emails to your inbox whenever I upload new videos. So that way you don't miss out on that new course, I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. Don't want to give too much away just yet, but I will in future videos. So that's a wrap on Camp Nano. So in order to write every single day at the same time, I needed to have some sort of system or put a system in place to remind me that it was time to write. On June 30th, I sat down with my laptop and I would highly recommend starting to use an electronic calendar. Planners and agendas are great. I have my Erin Condren planner and I love it. I use it to death. 
I don't know what I would do without it, but there is something to be said for an electronic calendar. Now, if you don't really want to use an electronic calendar because you don't want to have to update two spaces, like say you use a written planner and you want to keep everything there, that's fine. I would then suggest setting an alarms or using the alarms function on your phone. What I did is I would go into my Google Calendar on June 30th, I planned out the week ahead, and I made sure to block off chunks of time for writing. So the time I chose was 7.30 p.m. I would block off from 7.30 to 9.30 because I wanted to give myself two hours to write. And 30 minutes of that is normally just sort of brainstorming a little bit or kind of reviewing my outline and what I wanted to go through next. But physically taking the time to block off chunks on your calendar and to then set a reminder to ding. This is why I love Google Calendar because I have the Gmail app on my phone. I also have Google Calendar on my phone and then my watch is also synced to my phone. So it's all synced, it all works, all the cogs and wheels are turning, and so I get those notifications. You know, I'll normally set my notifications, okay, it's time to go right, or 15 minutes until it's time to go right, so that way I can start to prep myself and get into my office, get everything ready, you know, get my environment all cozy, light candles, make sure I have water, snacks, everything I need to sit down and focus for those two hours. If time is something that tends to get away from you, then again, I highly recommend setting alarms in your phone for whatever time it is that you're supposed to go write or to set it 15 minutes before the time that you're going to write or setting those blocks on your Google Calendar or whatever calendar you have, but have something electronic reminding you and dinging at you that it's time to go right because if you just simply have this in your planner and your planner is sitting in your office all day you're not going to get that reminder and time will continue to slip away from you and that book's never going to get written if you're having trouble tearing yourself away from whatever it is you're doing to then go into your office to write then make whatever that activity is that you're doing before you're sitting down to write your reward. Tell yourself if you hit your word count or you hit that target, that as soon as you finish, you can go back to doing whatever it is that you were doing. It can be something like a Netflix marathon or watching a movie or leisurely reading a book. I've talked about reward systems in the past a lot, but the one way to make sure that you get up and get writing is to know that there's something that you can enjoy or something that you'll enjoy doing once the writing is over with. As a writer, I actually look forward to coming to my office to sit down and write because it's that time I get to be creative, I get to immerse myself in my story and my characters. But I know for some people, especially if you've worked a really long day or if you're really tired or if the kids have been driving you up a wall, the last thing you wanna do is sit down and do more work. So it's also a reframing of writing being an escape for you and a place you can go to just kind of forget everything, forget your day and sit down and write the words. So that's all I have today for this first habit for productive writers is to, number one, pick a time that you are going to sit down and write every single day and stick to it. Number two is to have some sort of electronic reminder going off, whether it's on your phone, your Apple Watch, something to remind you that it is time to go into your office or go into your writing space, your writing cave, and get some words down. And number three is to set a mini reward for yourself for hitting that word count target. Again, whether that's a Netflix marathon, playing video games, leisurely reading a book, working on something else that you really enjoy doing, create that mini reward system so that way when you hit your target for the day, you're able to go and enjoy yourself and relax and do something that makes you happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. You can also hit that little bell and that way you will be sent emails to your inbox to let you know when I have posted new videos. Videos. I'd also love to know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for this series, if this video helped you in any way, or what sort of habits you have implemented into your daily routine in order to make sure you hit your word count goals. Before I sign off, don't forget to check out both of my websites, kristenmartinbooks.com and thatsmarthustle.com. On the former, you will find my self-study coaching program for writers called Valiance. So if you are someone who is really wanting to dive deep into the book creation process, you have a roadmap laid out for you, if you will. I would highly recommend it checking out that program. There is also a free guide on that website to help you write your book in three months. All you have to do is enter your email address in the pop-up box when you go to kristenmartinbooks.com or scroll all the way to the very bottom and insert your email address in the box down there. That is also where you can purchase signed copies of all of my books as well as any new courses or programs that I launch. And if you're looking for more motivation, inspirational, more on the personal development side of things, I encourage you to visit my other website at thatsmarthustle.com. There is also a free guide
guide over there called five action steps you can take right now to start showing up for your dreams. Highly recommend downloading that and filling it out if you haven't already. You can also find links to some of my other courses, including the Hustle Smarter, Not Harder webinar series, as well as my podcast, which is called That Smart Hustle. It's available to listen on iTunes and SoundCloud, and there are over 40 episodes available to listen to. You can find the links and all of the information to what I just mentioned in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!